I'm going to ask you to go back to the beginning and start that whole thing, right? Okay, great. If you look at what it is that I'm sharing on screen right now, right? Yeah. I, I think that there's something really, really interesting in taking the idea of triple bottom line, yeah. which originally is people plant or, or planet people profit or people plant. People, it's, planet, it's profit. people first, usually. Right. Yeah. And we um, argue that planet actually needs to be first. And this is an interesting, you know, uh, interesting thing. Um, but I think that your characterization of this as prosperity rather than profit is really, really important. I noticed doing some research for an article that I'm writing that if you were to, for example, go to The Economist yeah, right, and look at this or Investopedia, for example, and look at this phrase, right? Yep. It, profit goes first. Yep. Right. And what I'm, what I'm suggesting, and this is something that I've talked about before on Clubhouse, is that you know, beliefs inform actions and actions inform, have consequences. And the words and phrases that you use inform your beliefs, right? So if you can, you know, talk about how good for you, good for farmers, good for the planet, you know, informs the Good Sam mission. Um, and, you know, and we can pick this up on Friday about, yeah. you, know, you know, how this, um, how this manifests itself in terms of actions on the ground. Yeah. So, you know, like I said, I, I'm a chocolatier. I'm a trained chef. I'm a, I'm a chocolatier. I've been in the mainstream American market in chocolate for a really long time. And one of the things I realized throughout the course of my career was that I needed to appeal in my marketing messages to the consumer first. What was the company that that I had a hand in or created or was creating the product for? What could it do for the consumer first? That's always what we have to lead with um, mm -hmm. when we're marketing to a mass market consumer. They want to know first, what does it do for me? What does it do for my family? What does it do for my friend that I give it to? Or is it going to help me achieve my health goals, right? You know, I've been in the natural products industry for a really long time. So that's been a priority. Um, you know, we talk about good for farmers because we work in a direct trade model where we have no middlemen in our entire system, which I think is important to note because most companies do have middlemen in their system. And what that does is it is somebody taking another slice of the pie. And what that creates is there's a duality to that, right? There's a farmer who's not getting paid enough and there's cons the consumer who's paying, who has to pay more and more and more. And the farmer keeps getting pushed down and pushed down and the consumer has to pay more and more and more, right? So um, we've established a really great deal of trust. We reinvest 1% of all our top line sales instead of putting it into third party intermediary organizations. We do it ourselves mm -hmm. and we have decolonialized that system essentially because we sit at the table with our farmers and we let them decide what's going to happen with that money. And we work alongside them to make those, those goals a reality, right? And sometimes they're doing more of the work. Sometimes we're involved a lot more. It just kind of depends on what it is that we agree to at the end of it. And good for the planet because we only work in regenerative systems. We really believe in regenerative agriculture. We believe that uh, sort of the soil will save us in so many ways, um, or at least it's a big, big component of that. And that every food company has the responsibility, including chocolate companies and especially chocolate companies, because they're such a low hanging fruit, pun intended, uh, way of getting into those regenerative systems and strengthening them, especially in the cacao supply chain. It's, it's one of the best ways to get it done. There are so many smallholder farmers and indigenous people farming cacao in particular, right? Uh, so, so Heather, Heather, I am, I don't want to have this teaser trailer go on forever. Okay. I want to, I want people to actually come on Friday and visit um, and sure. participate in the stream. So if you're watching this and any of what it is that Heather um, <laughs> is saying today sounds interesting to you, please join us uh, this coming Friday, uh, which is December 3rd. It's going to be at noon Eastern time streaming here live on YouTube and on Facebook. I'm so looking forward to it. <laughs>